Good brain, bad brain. If you didn't do the surgery you did, Honest would have had no hope. So what, what did you do in the operating right. room? Not only obvious did not have a hope that growing up, he would have died from a fatal seizure. At a very young age, no chance at life. That's not good, so we gotta do something about it. So, what we would like to do in surgery is disconnect this bad hemisphere from the good hemisphere so we can let this good hemisphere take over both hemispheres and make the child grow and become a very functional person in the future. So there's two amazing things about this story. Number one, your actual surgery, mm -hmm. which I want you to show us what you did, but also the fact that we can live with one half a brain, basically. So exactly right. walk us through how you get to that area to disconnect the two sides of the brain. So for us to get into Honest's middle of the brain to disconnect this mother cable, we had to use some tricks surgically. What we did is remove the small part of the brain here, which actually is smaller than that. And then this way we were able to get into the middle part of the brain to disconnect the two hemispheres. And therefore, we were not only able to disconnect the corpus callosum, there are other connections that we disconnect. And this hemisphere stays there, but really does nothing. So yeah. if you're removed, basically disconnecting half the brain, how, I know the, explain how a child's ability is there to have the left side take over the entire function of the brain. How's, how's that happen? As we know, normally the right brain controls the left side, the left brain controls the right side. So now his left brain has to control both, both sides. sides. That is extremely amazing, why? because this is the first law of evolution of the brain, that the left has to control right. How does it happen that in a child, both sides are controlled by the hemisphere? We still don't know, but we know it happens. We know that Honest can grow very well, and we know he's gonna be great. That's great, that's awesome. So after this miraculous surgery by Dr. Cohen, we have Honest with us today. Does everyone wanna meet him? And how's he doing? Uh, it's a miracle. Anes is a normal baby. Uh, he, he learned more in the months after surgery than he did in the five. So he's a normal baby. Well, amazing surgery. And his prognosis now? Is excellent. It's amazing. Before surgery, he couldn't hold his head. He couldn't sit. He couldn't crawl. Within two weeks, he has been able to hold his head, to crawl, and has been able to feed so much that he has almost gained to half of his weight that he didn't have before. And Dr. Cohen, can you tell us about Honest's eyes? That's right. What happened before surgery, his eyes were not lining up well. That's because the right hemisphere that controls the left eye was not working well. Right now, it's gonna take a while for his normal left hemisphere to take over both function of the eyes. And that's almost a normal event for that eye, the left eye, not to work well with the right one, but we think as time goes by, there is very good chance he's gonna have both eyes lined up, and that will be uh, essentially all he needs in order to get, the, get his vision also lined up well. Well, thank you so much, and thank you. We also want to thank the Hemispherectomy Foundation for making honest surgery possible. If you want more information or to make a donation to help other children in need, Go to our website, thedoctorstv.com. Up next. Information for you on a story that won our hearts last year. The brave six-year-old who underwent surgery to remove half of her brain and save her life. Now, it's hard to believe, but that six-year-old is now seven and celebrating the one-year anniversary of the surgery in a special way. Channel 8's Chris Hawes has her story. June 11, 2008, the day surgeons removed half of Jesse Hall's brain. Her parents knew their lives would turn on that day, either as a day of mourning or of celebration, the day she got a second chance at life. Jesse survived, but when she woke up, they still had no way of knowing if the old Jesse would ever resurface. Zippity doo dah, zippity a. Today, they have their answer. This is Jesse Hall almost one year later. We've learned a lot about being thankful. 
So how's school? Good. Jesse is finishing the first grade. We love you. Very nice. You must be a good reader. Mm -hmm. Filling her days with tutors, physical therapists, and the coaches that never quit, mom and dad. They say the best thing you can do is to challenge, challenge, challenge. What is seven plus eight? Fifteen. Yeah. Stimulate, stimulate, stimulate. Why? <laughs> what are you whining for? We challenge Jessie every day of her life. Recently, they've given Jessie a new challenge, learning to run again. On your mark, get set, go! Tomorrow, she's entered a 5K, organized by her parents to benefit the Hemispherectomy Foundation. Other children who've had the same operation as Jessie. As in life, Jessie may have her share of stumbles.